Hey guys, it's Jager262 and welcome back to the channel. I have not made a lot of videos recently, so as you can tell from the title, or maybe just right now what's on the screen, I wanted to cover this bit of World of Tanks news. I have not been playing World of Tanks at all lately. Um, I didn't cover the most recent Black Friday events. Some guys were commenting on the channel and again, thank you for supporting. And I do like to hear from you, even though I didn't cover it. Uh, I didn't pick anything up this Black Friday, or not Black Friday, the Black Market event, just because most of the times I was at work, and so I missed out on vehicles I wanted, so I just scrubbed it, and I didn't have a chance to cover it, I only covered the secondary ones, so I just gave up. But this interesting bit of news reached me, so World of Tanks console is played there, not on the PC, but hopefully we'll see it on PC. They have released a new mode called World of Tanks Cold War, and they have placed the M1 Abrams, the T90, the T5A, the M48 Patton, uh, the M60 Patton, a couple of British tanks, all into a separate game of World of Tanks where the tech trees work the same, the tanks work the same as they do in console, and it's all Cold War. So much like my Armored Warfare videos, you can now play modern tanks in World of Tanks. However, that is not coming to PC as far as you know. But while I was looking through news, I did pick this up. This is just a normal Panzer IV H. You can't change the gun, it's a premium tank. And it plays exactly the same. And if you're like me, the first time they did this was years and years ago. Like right before I started playing when the anime came out. Uh, the anime, of course, being Girls in the Panzer. Uh, the main team there, the main character, the Anglerfish team, have a Panzer as page. And so they put it in the game. And if you were like me then and you missed out on that exclusive tank, you were pretty much just using mods up until update 1, where they just made it impossible to use mods in the tanks. And so I haven't been able to play with any of my custom characters, uh, voice packs, or tanks since update 1. But good news is they have re-released the vehicle. You can get it now. It released two days ago, and it's still available in the store in three bundles, one for $14 American. I think the next one was 35 and then 50 Basically, like when they do all their exclusive tanks, you get just the tank and the crew with Brothers in Arms, and you can do that with credits and gold, and you do it again with credits and gold, and then extra reserve missions and some premium account time. I went for just the tank, now, this is different than other premium tanks, as this is considered a camouflage, a permanent skin. So you cannot change the cosmetics of this thing, I don't think. Yeah, you can't. But it means that it will always be on the tank, which is nice. There's, of course, the Anglerfish team's symbol, and then the symbol of the ORI school for girls, where they're from. If you haven't watched the anime, it's probably all confusing, but essentially tanking is a sport. High school students compete in this sport up to the university level in the world championships. And that was their school and their team. However, the cool thing that it does come with is much like the T-34 Rudy and the, oh, the Sabaton Stridsvon 81. And I know they did an offspring American tank. This one would come with custom crew portraits, all fully trained, all with brothers in arms and an extra skill slot. But it also comes with a unique voice pack. Now, I'm going to get into some games here, and we'll see how that sounds. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the news. If you want to stick around for the gameplay, please do. If not, I will try to make more World of Tank videos in the future, but we'll see. I just really wanted to release this because I'm a huge fan of the anime. And I just wanted everybody who wasn't aware that it's in the premium shop to know, and you can pick it up. Alrighty, so I played some games with this and so we look for it. And I didn't go over stats and look at the music because it is standard cancer. So 630 hit points, 110 average damage, 110 average penetration, 2.1 aim time, 16 rounds a minute for works. And they do come with a pretty fun voice back with the area of commander in second. Which is great. Um, but yeah, nothing real special about this game as far as its performance goes. But I will say 
that is taking me a long time to get to games. And I have been top tier every game. And so I'm thinking that it is probably letting me back everything. Now, I can't find anywhere that says that it is. Uh, and it could just be slow server times. I have not been playing on the, like I said, the game in a while, so I don't know what the North American server looks like right now, but for some reason, uh, light tank. But it could just be a slow server day. It just feels like it has preferential matchmaking. Yeah. And it's full voice back, it's not just the commander. So all of the crew have voices from the show. I think it's just it adds the value for the GM. But yeah, as you can see from my gameplay, I really haven't played this in a minute. Um, this was just terribly conditioned by that Plus there's a high explosive, so I can just trap me. Like a standard Panther floor has no real armor. and I can't go anywhere. Um, but this is another part I wanted to show you. So yeah, this thing, like I said, standard Panzer Force was pretty terrible in the battlefield. Why do I say that? Instead of saying it's really badly. Um, because on my Panzer Force, I never run this thing. I just don't like it. <laughs> but, oh, that's bad. So that's why I can tell you know tanks been knocked out in combat in the show. Uh, because the tanks are actually just blue or anything. Uh, of course, that would be terrifying. So it's just really cool. So I'm glad we had such a terrible game. I guess I can show you this. But I'm going to try to do one more game to see if I can play a real game with it. And see how that goes. I did not hit record on time, so you missed the Panzer board. But uh, she said it, so my bad, guys. Uh, anyway, so good news with this game. No preferential matchmaking on this it was just a server issue. Well, it's not an issue, I guess it's just a server favor. Do you want to be top tier? Right. I'm gonna try to play a little bit better and remember how to play this game. Okay. Yeah, good mobility for you. Like I said last game, I don't want this gun, so I'm on the hands of five and I have to sorry this is a handle. The fourth is I do believe this is the third gun you can get. Um the house. That guy's in this actually what I use in my tank. But it gets the job done in A game like this, I have no idea how long it will perform, if it will perform at all. But that's not really what we did. We did this. And it is.
Let's paint the floor next to Got the set. I think we're just I don't have to agree. I'm pretty sure we just lost the bill. And they're not gonna move on one two miles. This game is a scrub as well. I don't know. Needless to say, given my performances so far, I would not be accepted into any school this tank team at all. Let alone have an opportunity to play university, which is setting. Hey, yeah, the back. At least I got the opportunity to drive it. I have no gun depression. I forgot. Ten degrees of gun depression is really good. It used to be the standard for gun depression in the game. Okay, man, it's got ten degrees. Um, I forget the name of it. I did like the Achilles I'm fighting over there. Um, has ten as well, but he slowed down. Nice. And Swedish tanks again. I guess we're pushing push. I don't know what I'm gonna do. But oh, I guess I'll die. Close. Close. I'm gonna die. Alright, oh, Artie's gonna get me. He's gonna suck me. I don't know why we can Ah, oh, there it is. Stop moving for one second and Artie will get you. Well, hey, I had a good run. But yeah, so like I said, I don't really play World of Tanks anymore. And um, that is apparent. I probably won't continue to play. <laughs> I probably won't ever really play this game again. It's not... Not like it used to be. It's pretty much just this. Just, um... Just arty all day long, or bad teams, or you know, bad decision making. Either way, um, if you are playing World of Tanks, that's great. You can get this vehicle. I'm glad I have it, even though I probably won't use it after today. But it's just a neat, it's a neat little premium tank if you can use it. I can, but if you can, even better. Anyway, thank you for watching, and as always, I'll see you next time. One more game, just to get that camera. Or get your camera to go. God. But, yeah, now I'm really starting to regret that this thing isn't preferential matchmaking because you're basically, and this is where these weird tanks it's been like lately, is all premium rounds. And, I don't know, they're just it's so expensive. Also, I thought this was like a way different map than it really was, and I did not mean to come over here, but now I'm here, so... Yeah, that's kind of why I didn't like to be here. I don't know what manner of thing. 
hellish monster that foolish thing is. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, this is a huge mistake. I mean, like, yeah. It's a mistake to come in. Oh, wrong one. He's gonna be different. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Get out of my fucking way, dog. Right now I'm going to get hit for like a And ricochet. Yeah, I'm going to one shot. Right now. There it is. So yeah, terrible tank. Absolutely fucking hate it. But very cool to have it in the game. I just hate World of Tanks so much. So much. But hey, at least you got the here the Panzer Door thing. There's no way to play this tank that works if you're not top tier. The gun just can't do anything without that premium ammunition and has no armor. Um, but it has a great EPM, so it's a of EPM. So, again, if you can, get it, use it, make it great. I hate it. I hate it so much. I hate it. It's cool to have that. Anyway, thanks for watching.